growing soil, teaching people how to compost. Um, and this is uh, one of the uh, breakout sessions that people really enjoy, uh, putting layers of carbon and nitrogen. And then we get somebody up there with some really good legs and uh, maximize, uh, 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 maximize the amount of uh, material in there. It's about a yard of material that this produces. And of course, people are fascinated by the worms. We started out uh, 16 years ago with about 30 pounds of worms. We now have 7,000 pounds of worms that produce over 100,000 pounds of worm castings every uh, four months that we use for fertilizer, arguably the best fertilizer in the world. We couldn't do what we do without our compost. And then we have these worm depositories where we uh, have worms. They said this couldn't be done in our climate to keep worms alive uh, when we get below zero temperatures. But the worms don't know whether they're inside or outside as long as they're uh, uh, between 70 and 90 degrees and this compost keeps them at that temperature. So we have a number of these worm depositories on the various farms. On this farm, there's, uh, like I said before, 7,000 pounds that started with 30 pounds. And that's the finished product. And this is what we do with the product in our system. We're able to feed the worms our compost. We break it down, and we have these, um, again, worm bins that we uh, have uh, our worms in. And we do this regardless of the weather. Um, we go out and get compost, bring it in, <laughs> and feed it to our worms. And we have about seven or eight different varieties of, wor of red worms that do this work. And unlike us humans, these worms uh, uh, work harmoniously together, even though there are different uh, types of worms. And I really like, when I said I had 140 employees, I really have more like 140 billion employees. And I really like these employees because they uh, don't talk back. You just feed them, and they go and do their, do their work. You can tell I like worms. And that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a uh, cocoon that houses about 20 worms in that cocoon and every four months. And it's a great transformative moment when you put a couple hundred worms in a child's hands. <laughs> At first they jump back, but then they, uh, it really changes their life. Even adults enjoy the worms. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's really into it, you know. And I think she found something in the worm bin she liked. And we're able to uh, get our worms out. We use this screening method. Uh, we uh, use this 16 mesh screen, the same screen that you have on your windows at home. So if you're going to get into this business, what you have to do is go home and cut the screen off your window, and then you can get into the business. No. Uh, but the worms, uh, we lay it on top after four months and put fresh compost, and they crawl through the screen, and that's how we remove the worms from their waste. And then we uh, market those worm castings at $2 a pound wholesale to critical growers and farmers and $4 a pound retail. And eight months ago, that was carbon and nitrogen. Now it's the highest quality organic fertilizer that we can also turn it into a compost tea that's more effective than chemical fertilizer. 